What's going on guys? <clears throat> Welcome to the stream. Today I'm going to be painting an earth right here on this canvas. Um, this is a canvas that I'm doing for um, in honor of my 200th when I hit 200 subscribers on my channel which was a while ago and I'm just getting around to this but um, yeah that's what we're doing today. I turned down the volume in my headphones a little bit and let's pull up the stream so I can see if anybody's chit chatty chit chatty today it's been a while since I've streamed so I don't expect too many people to pop up mm -mm, mm -mm. make sure my volume is down on the phone okay good alrighty so colors I am using a few different colors today just um, so um, the piece is sort of a interpretation of Gaia the mother earth princess I mean uh, the mother earth goddess uh, who gave birth to mother earth so I looked at a lot of pictures of Gaia online and they're pretty incredible I mean <laughs> the people who paint those things have a lot of time and patience which is not my forte when it comes to art so um, I had to come up with something so using a couple different um, silhouette images I google searched I stitched them together in Photoshop to create this image here like the hair piece and the head is different the arms are different fr from a different body and the bodies from a different silhouette that I found and uh, just made the stencil of it I painted the canvas first, made the stars sort of spacey, and then put the stencil down, spray painted a little bit, different colors, and then splashed a bunch. So it's kind of, it looks like um, particles, maybe, and I wanted to represent all the colors, so I used pretty much all the different colors I had in my bag without basically using the same color um, over and over couple purples, couple reds, couple oranges, couple yellows, couple greens, things like that. What's up JC? Long time no see. Well I haven't streamed in a long time, I haven't posted a video, I haven't done anything in a long time. <laughs> so, but let's uh... I've never used these paints before either so are they even any good? Oh. Oh, this brown might not even be any good, I haven't used these. I don't think this brown is any good. This feels like it might be alright. Well, I can't tell if it's just blocked with the cap. Oh, there we go. That's not very... Some tans. Let's see, I'm hoping this green is still good. Uh, the tip's pretty messy. And I find interesting that the green on the outside is so um, like army green or olive green, but this color inside certainly doesn't look that way. That's quite interesting. Oh, how is that? How does that turn into that? I feel like this medium green <laughs> is. <laughs> Something's wrong here. Happy New Year, my friend. We are there at the end of the year. I am now, just a year ago, did I start my channel. I've been on a break. I got pretty depressed after um, Halloween, so I stopped doing art, uh, stopped streaming, stopped editing. Like, I just sort of pumped the brakes real hard. Um, trying to get back into it. I did one of the canvas, it didn't really get the blood flowing, and then this one came to mind last week, so I'm trying to get back into it. Uh, dude, have a good night, man. I appreciate you stopping by, and, you know, it's been a while, and uh, if I don't see or hear from you again, if I'm streaming before the new year, then 
man. Enjoy it and be safe. And I'll see you in 2020. Hopefully bigger, better, stronger, faster. <laughs> All that good stuff. Oh, that's a pretty blue. Well, at least the white's still good. You're welcome, man. Have a good night, man. black that's why I thought I had another blue that's the one I did already oh this one's not even open oh, well all right first time using this color sweet bye JC thanks for stopping by man I appreciate it Do I have all the colors I want? Nope, brown. Oh, uh, the brown is the one that was not good, huh? Uh, it's like the cap got left off or something. Is there any left in there? I have other brown. I just wanted to try and use these kind, these paints here because I haven't yet. This brown is no good. No. And let's see. It's like a forest green. It's not even going to be that big of a world, so I really don't need a whole lot of paint. It's just, like most of the world pictures of the worlds that I look at are heavily textured with the greens, browns, tans. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, that's what I'm trying to represent. Oh, paper towels. No, I got them. I don't have to go anywhere for them. Maybe let's do more than one. Sometimes they get wet. So the world to be like it's not gonna be very big. I'm not sure if I should draw it on or just start painting it on. I feel like I should just start painting it on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well well was my you know what, I think I might just sort of sketch in. See now, I'm also thinking if I do the earth there, I might be able to do the moon here. Like she's the sun and the moon. I mean the earth and the moon. And I don't know if I want her like like she's blowing on it. I don't know. Meh. No, I think that's it. But I do like the idea of the moon down here, which is just pretty much like white and grays. Oh, I don't know why I'm trying to move that. <laughs> I need to darken some of that in too. What do I got here? <laughs> Got a little damage over here, like a scratch. I don't know. Hopefully that will dry so you can't really tell it was if it doesn't, then that means I can clean up edges like this too. Uh, and so I wish I had the chisel end. 
There's a couple areas where like the paint sort of came outside of the underneath the stencil. Ooh, I'm yelling right into the microphone. Sorry guys. I didn't realize I was right next to it. I know I'm off camera, right? <laughs> I know. I um I'm getting sidetracked with trying to clean up some of the paint bleed. Those sounds make me want to play a video game. Sounds like a video game. Oh good, you can't really tell, like, and once this, once um, I put the seal on it, Same thing here, like, the kind of blood underneath where our fingers are. We'll separate our fingers a little bit more. What is it? Oh, around her, around her nipple too, it got underneath. I don't, I don't want it to look like that. I mean, I do want the nipple to be there, but the way the paint splashed around it didn't look so good. I like that green one there. Actually, I'm taking my dog out, so I'll watch it. Oh, nice! Uh, what kind of dog do you have, man? I, I love dogs. I don't have any pets right now. It's the uh, first time in my life with a, a pet. Um, I've had cats most of my life. I've never had a dog to myself, but um, I live vicariously through my dog owning friends. Uh, my best friend has a German Shepherd and a corgi mix i think it is and they're so nice i like going over there and hanging out quiche hound i'm gonna have to look that up i'm not 100 percent sure what a quiche hound is um it's an interesting name i uh when i get a dog i think i want to get a basset hound which is funny because my last name is basset um and they are like my favorite dog better there her arm kind of looks a little but it's not much I can do about the mist there I made a video ago when I got her do you have it up on your YouTube channel I can always go look at it or you can um, I don't know how difficult it would be while you're d walking your dog but if you have the link to it you can drop the link in the chat I believe it'll allow you um, if not, then I can allow you to. All right, what do I do with the cover for this marker? Oh, it's on the back. I think I like how it cleaned up. Oh, see on her forehead a little. should be good the rest of it I'm gonna leave those are the few splashes that were really triggering me oh, I gotta go get my other soda oh, I got a message I'd watch but we're hanging out let's see with my best friend's hair oh, that's fine These sounds were from Ireland and were almost gone, but they came back. Nice. That's cool. Alrighty. Alright, so I guess it's time to paint. I don't like the way this light is hitting the 
canvas though. I think I need to move this light over more. Ow, that's hot. <laughs> I'm burning my... They're also called the Dutch Smiling Dog or something. <laughs> Do they look like they have a perma grin or something on their face? Is that... Is that why? That's a funny... Funny way of putting it. I might have needed to put more paint on here, huh? Someday I'll have a dog. I've been thinking about doing um, like a saltwater terrarium um, or saltwater coral, something like that maybe. I need some kind of pet. I don't like not having a pet. Yeah, I think I needed more paint. This stuff, I thought it was going to spread m more because it was thicker, but it's not doing what I thought it was going to do. I'm just going to paint the whole thing in, and then I'll just paint the earth parts on it. The lighting is not so great in here for me, though. I, don't, um, I wonder if I propped it can you still you can still see it like that right a little bit hmm I think I do need the angle to be up do I have a what do I do at my little tabletop I have a tabletop easel I'm just not sure where I left it it might be at my friend's house I also have two cats and a bird Ooh, four birds yeah, my dad and my stepmother used to have um, budgies and cockatoos. I can't say I'm the biggest fan of birds, especially the ones that are squawks a lot. That high pitched squawk really does a number on me. But I do love me some cats. I am a cat person. Trying to get that like that glow around the edge. Do, 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 do. Can you still see that what I'm doing? I wonder if I can I zoom in. I think I was doing that earlier. If I zoom in, it might be. Oh yeah, the budgies, canary and a cockatiel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Green cheek. I'm not really sure what that is. Um, overhead camera. I'm gonna try and um, zoom this in. Yeah, let's see. There we go. That's a little better. Mm -hmm. Still looks a little fuzzy. Probably should have used a thinner brush, but ah, it's all right. I really just want to get the shape of it right.
can't say I'm enjoying this paint so much so far. I think I like thinner acrylics. I'm kind of not mixing so well. Yeah, well, that's the learning process, isn't it? Not. I think this paint is like sort of drying up. I wonder if I'm supposed to thin this stuff out. <laughs> Maybe it's condensed in this, and it's supposed to be thinned out, and I just don't know. Oh, all right, ma'am. Have a good night, brother. Thanks for stopping by and chit chat and while you're walking your dog, that's cool, man. Get that circle look. Do, 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 do. Bye bye, JC. Happy New Year. Do, do, do. Happy holidays, too. I know Christmas passed. I don't know what you celebrate, but. Oh, I forgot to tell you, too, about the. I got the um, VR coming. I got some VR graffiti I'm going to be doing soon. I'm excited about that. I think I'm gonna flip the piece. Looks a little, a little off. I really wish I could play some better music for you guys on this YouTube. I had my wood palette I think the paints would have mixed a little bit better on there I almost want like a little lighter blue yeah I knew this one
Ah, uh, see, I should go with the planets on. I mean, the the land in there already. I, I really like the way that it's coming out. It's, I'm digging it. Looks like a ball of water. I'll put the clouds on it after. I think in here is where I'm hurting the most. Let's take this. A little bit of that color. Let's see what else we got here. Too light, too light, too light. A little darker. A little darker. Careful not to mess up the try and tighten up these lines. Well, I don't do the clouds yet. Not until I do the planets. I mean, I keep saying planets. I'm talking about the land. I can't keep, I can't stop messing with it. All right, let's. <clears throat> we can stop on that for a minute. Now let's clean the brush. While we let that dry, I'm gonna go grab another soda. I'll be right back. Just give me one second. Actually, you know what? I'm also gonna grab a quick drag. I'm not there. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that. Cute. Let's get it. So in the moon, it's going to be like That'd be about the size of the moon. Uh, where's my... Nope, not that one. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh. Okay. Need like more water in here. Come on now.
Not too gray. Not too gray. Come on now. There we go. Let's get it. Actually, I'm gonna go closer to it. Let's turn it this way. Did that. I'm ruining the circumference. Like the moon, no? Small white. I think I went a little overboard. I'll let that dry then. I need like a blow dryer or something. Excuse me. Alright, so now we're going to go back to the planets. Let me pull up my Pangea so I can see what. That's a hard song. I thought this was a chill channel. Not too much chill in that track. Alright, Pangea. Alright, what we're gonna do here. So we need browns and greens now.
Brown. Oh, I didn't have the brown. You know what? Did I throw that brown away? I need to, I think I need a little bit of a, uh, maybe not, maybe not. I can make my own dark brown hair. What are we doing? mud paintbrush for that.
Am I getting off the screen here? Oh, actually, I need to move this down a little. Is that good? Is that better? Is that better. damn good. I like it. All right, back to the moon. The moon doesn't look so uh, and sh doesn't look right. I'm gonna fix the shape a little bit. It's just because I need to change the angle of the canvas to get it right. Alright. Oh no, I want the tan in there. Be careful. up my white over here with the tan. <laughs> I think I need to put a little bit more. Black, get off my brush. I need to put more white on here. Alright, so that's good. I don't need a whole lot of it. Am I right? How am I off the camera again? Holy crap. I really am not paying attention to any of that, am I? Starting to get a little crowded over here. Look.
Come on, Gray, just a little bit lighter. Do I give it an aura? Oh. <laughs> did I zoom in? I think I did zoom in. That's why it's the camera angle's a mess. out super quick. happening here that I'm trying to make happen. Is this, I don't understand, is this getting any paint on it whatsoever? Or is it just too little and this paint is too thick? I'm, I'm having a difficult time here just trying to get this friggin' color onto the canvas. this paint is um, a condensed version. I think I'm supposed to thin it out because <laughs> I'm not getting any paint here. Like nothing is coming off. Where is my paint? You know, I'll tell you, after that Apple Barrel Walmart paint might be super cheap, but it's easier to use than these other higher end, thicker paints. It's annoying. It won't even come off my paintbrush. Acrylic. Oh. That's oil. No wonder why it's not working right. I thought they were all acrylics. Oh my lord. And for some reason my face cam... My microphone's... T why is everything acting up right now? I guess that's what happened when you don't stream.
All right, so I'm over here using oils. That's n I wonder why it's everything is getting jacked up. Oh my lord! <laughs> I laugh at myself because it's the silliness. I didn't even realize I had an oil paint. And uh, I'm not sure how to clean oil paint from brushes without having the right, the right materials. Oh, I think my paintbrush. Wow, these are cheap paintbrushes anyways. I don't care. Lesson learned. All right. That's such a bonehead move. All this time I was painting with it. All right, here we go. Let's go back to the acrylics. be the oil or something that's really tracking with this. Good to me.
I don't know what I do. There you go. That little detail. It's gonna take a while to dry, isn't it? I need to put the clouds on it. I think in the meantime, I'm gonna take a little smoke break. So you know what? Let's just uh, remove myself from the picture here while I have a bowl. Still not sure if I want to make it look like she's blowing the clouds onto the earth. Yeah, it's an interesting one, isn't it? is not leaving a mark. This paint. There we go. Oh. See what happens when you don't use your paint markers or too long to can get all shitty. Whatever. I 
did what I needed to do right there anyways. Alright, back to the bowl I was trying to foster. While this dries a little bit. Oh, excuse me. I should put a glow around it. I should take a progress shot. Where's my phone? Oh, I'm using it for chat. <laughs> oh, I usually use my phone. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> I'll have to... Hello to whoever came into the chat. Thank you for tuning in. I gotta use my phone to take a quick progress shot of this. I need a oh, okay, let's go. That's not too bad. You know I should probably hang it on the wall and do that, huh? Let's uh Is there a reason why you're not catching that nail? <laughs> there we go. I don't know if I want the flash on. Let's try it without the flash. Okay. Picture taken, which you would have saw if I had the face cam on, but because I don't have the face cam on, you couldn't see me taking a picture of it on my wall. Alright. Open chat back up, put you back into this stand. Almost done. This song isn't very fun. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's back out the camera. Overhead. Configure video. It doesn't look like it's focused right, is it? Something like right there. That way you can kind of see the whole thing. <sighs> yeah. I'm holding the bowl right in the camera. <laughs> Let's try not to be so... I mean, it's legal here, but... I'm not trying to be so gratuitous about it. Ooh. <coughs> oh. That was a hit. <coughs> oh, man. I should probably mute y'all while I'm sneezing. Does it look like it's dry? Yeah, I'm gonna do the clouds. I need more white. Doesn't really 
I say? Alright. Get a little water in there. Because that's how I feel it's supposed to be. See, I don't know if this is working right because of the oil paint. I, might, I probably should change to the other brush just because. Alright, let's get some clouds on. Oh, you know what? Let's zoom back in, I guess. Getting there. Mm-mm-mm. 
Clouds are kind of easier than I thought they were going to be. But not really. about up there though I'm not too overly thrilled with. doing yeah, I'm not too thrilled with that but get rid of some of that oh. Hardness on some of these. There we go. <laughs> Am I getting in the picture or not? I don't want to get in the picture. up a little bit. Yay. I think I'm thoroughly pleased with that. How about that? I still can make the nervous about if I try and do that like I don't know what it would look like I think I'm just gonna leave it the way that it is I'm afraid if I try and make it look like she's blowing on it it's gonna muck it up because I'm not ready for that yet <laughs> So, now that I feel complete with that, we're going to trade it out for the one on the wall over there behind me, work on that one, now that this one, um, this one's done. 
I don't know, is that moon triggering me? Is it oh weird? No, I think I like it the way that it is. Yep. So where's that blue marker? I'm gonna flip this oh, no. Skies these little black spots a little bit more. So it doesn't look like I created it. Well, I used a different medium. So. <laughs> no, that one's not bad. Did I do? No, I don't want to mess with the fingers. No, I think I think that's good. I think I um maybe like right there. There we go. This one, I could use one. This too. Good thing this is the same color as the color I splashed on the canvas. Tell that I use a different medium to cover up that little nick. All right, let's zoom back out. All right. So there it is. That's pretty much it. I um, I like this one. I like it a lot. The earth and the moon. I guess I could have put the sun, but she's the earth goddess. Oh, uh, you know, butterflies up there. Now that I see it like that, could be cleaned up a little bit. Tighten up the edges just a bit anywhere else. Mm, yeah, possibly this. I feel like that was paint ripped off by the tape from the stencil. Hmm. Mm. See, now I don't know the way that looks, though. Once that dries, I'll use the blue again. Little dots, so it sort of blends a little better, you know, in here too. Inside of her. Well, you know what? No, because I like it kind of chaotic inside the hairdo. I'm going to leave that. So really just the blue dots when that, um, that dries up there. What is that? Why does it look like that? I'm the type of person who can't leave well enough alone. See, like that looks like canvas right there to me. I think the, um, the double-sided tape. Did, wait, did they just play this song, or am I crazy? Or is it still the same song on from, like, however long ago? I'm not really paying attention to it, but... <clears throat> All right. The white come through on there? What's going on here? I don't like that. There we go. Oh, there's another place I could use some blue dots to sort of mask. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Yeah. Maybe they heal, heal. I mean, when is a painting really ever done, you know? Oh, along her back. Oh. <laughs> She's got back hair. Oh my god. Better break out the razor. Can I have that now? Yo, what up, Fizz? You get you just, you just get finished streaming? I assume you, you know, I would just <laughs> take it you wouldn't be here if you were still streaming. <laughs> so this is the piece that I was creating from my um, 200 sub appreciation. Though I'm on the doorstep of number f um, 400, wait. What did I do? I did the native alien. That was the last one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That wasn't... Yeah, yeah. Wasn't going to be canvas. How the rest of your stream go? You, um... Killing that Diablo? Man, all I need is my CPU. And, um... I have my computer, but... The CPU that I want to buy right now is out of stock on Amazon and Walmart. And those are the two cheapest. So I'm waiting for it to be back in stock and also come down another 20 bucks from where it is right now is where it's lowest hopefully that won't take too long or my patience or impatience will get the better of me and I will just end up buying it when I buy it but the my mother got me the oculus rift it uh, I think it's supposed to be here tomorrow but I can't use it until we build the rig because I don't think the laptop is going to be strong enough. So I just painted this on my stream after I left yours and I, I jumped on. I um, painted these two. They weren't here yet. The Earth and the Moon. And this is Gaia. It's uh, Mother Earth. Or the Earth Goddess. Mother Earth Goddess. I got to do more reading on it. I, I quickly looked it up. But if you look up some of the pictures like other people's interpretations of ooh, incredible simply incredible um, beyond my scope not to say that I couldn't do it but it would just take me an extremely long time to do something so detailed and I really do like splashing paint I created the stencil out of um, three different silhouette images that I googled and I stitched them together in Photoshop. Printed them out on regular paper, cut it out with an X-Acto, used some double-sided tape, stuck it to the canvas. I did the background first, obviously, the black. I think I could have went a little heavier with the blue in the middle to make it stand out more. Uh, it's hard to see with the lighting on my desk. Uh, but I'll, I'll be posting pictures of this soon because um, all I really gotta do is let it dry for a bit. Oh, so get this, I bonehead moved on it. I have on my palette here, oh, let me go into here. I have these two blues and you know, they're same company. I just uh, took them in for granted and put it on there and started using it to f realize when it wasn't working right <laughs> that one is an oil. I've never used oil. I, it's not easy to use. You gotta clean your brushes with special stuff. I didn't realize I had an oil in here. But it came out, man. It came out good. Like I really like the way that the earth looks on there. And it's actually not earth. It's Pangea. Uh, you know, pre-earth. When all the continents were one. Um, I don't want to paint modern earth that's uh, it's not what this is about she gave birth to the earth so I would assume you know it would be at its earliest stage and as far as I know Pangea is their earliest stage I didn't see anything saying that there was some that predates the um, theory of Pangea I assume But it didn't take it didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. So it's pretty much done. I think I'm gonna um, 
switch over to this one here behind me. I ended up getting white paint on the black area and needed to fix it. And I finally bought some more black paint. I fixed the spot. But of course the overspray got on my white. So I'm going to take the time to redo the white. Other than the fiery Premisphere stage and shit. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the pre yes, of course. Bef yep. I know what you're saying before the land had water on it basically uh, while it was still forming but yeah yeah I guess you're right there um, I think I like Pangea better than um, the molten crag I guess you could put you could say <laughs> before it cooled the first beautiful stage yes yes this is true it was while it was still in formation I think Pangea was after it settled down a bit, you know, after um, all the impacts and collecting of dust and stuff like that. Pangea looks better than a rocky pimple. Yuck! <laughs> <laughs> so the moon, um, the moon was in in the original. Uh, even the Earth, it wasn't in the original original, and the silhouette of the woman was going to be a silhouette of a woman down to her legs with a classy kind of 50s style woman um, with the same idea because it was still Pangea but because it's for um, our friend Miriam who we know through the house scene and she's a house dancer and she's very classy uh, she's a very beautiful person I wanted something you know kind of classy sexy woman but and then I kind of came through all these silhouettes and something about the disproportionate disproportion to her I don't know how to s say that correctly but makes it more ethereal um, at least that's how I feel about it it gives it more of a goddess kind of um, universally kind of feel to it instead of being an actual shaped woman it's not supposed to be a woman woman but in the essence it is mother and to me um, like all the colors of the rainbow I love all the colors so that's really what made me think of it I don't you don't need all those details of every animal you're not painting Gaia the Ark you know because that's how most pictures are they try and jam in like every animal and earth and ocean and everything and they're beautiful they're absolutely stunning but I didn't want to just copy that either again she asked me for my interpretation and I the way that these all speckled it it also feels sort of universal but also like atoms and molecules and which essentially makes up everything I don't know am I <laughs> am I going to <laughs> TLD didn't listen <laughs> TLDL <laughs> yo homie shut up and paint um, which you know I really just need to do <laughs> So let's just swap, swap these out. My chitter chattery. Mm. That'd be the background. Can you see it in the background there? I feel like maybe I'd have to drop this just a little. There we go. That works. It's interesting to hear you stream consciousness. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I mean, I guess we never really, you know, got on that kind of deep conversation yet I mean, I'm sure it sometimes but um, uh, there'll always be a reason why I do anything like that's kind of my thing you'll never hear me say just because this just because this doesn't even make sense there is no just because there's always a reason for everything you just not thinking about it you reacting so for me um, I, I, I don't react like that. I, everything's got to have a reason. 
Well, let me let me retract that. Everything that doesn't have a reason, even if it does, you're not going to know the reason. But there's a purpose, I guess, is what I'm trying to say for why I do whatever it is I'm doing. So when someone asks me, why did you do that? I'll pretty much have an answer for you because I know why I'm doing what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, oh, I just, I gotta get some white paint. Hold on one second. It's right here. I don't like the, I didn't, I didn't like this white paint that I was using. Now for this, I think it actually worked better than if I used the cheap Walmart apple barrel paint, to be honest. But the rest of it, I wasn't too thrilled with that paint. It's a high end paint. I guess I just so used to using budget. <laughs> Because, you know, even when I first started out on this canvas, I tried using yet a different type of um, the, what is that, Painter's Loft, I think it is. Hold on, let me see what that's called. Oh, Artist Loft. Yeah, this brand here in the white. And uh, I wasn't thrilled with it. Now, none of these acrylics actually work well on spray paint. There is oil in spray paint. And the acrylic paint, literally, um, it's like oil and water. It sort of sells up and it retracts from itself. So you have to keep putting layer and layer and layer on. Um, where this cheap apple barrel, <laughs> it slides over everything. You do have to put a few coats on it, but I find it easier to use so far. Now there's a gajillion different paints out there and I have not even dabbled in the expensive paints. I, you know, I just, um, I use what I got to the best of my ability. I think I want to stop the, not the stream, just the recording and split it up from the other piece to this piece. So start recording. All right, cool. That way I have two files, one for that, which I didn't make a video for. This is about, that was about it. The rest of it was done off camera. But this one here, I've been painting on camera since the beginning. So I will eventually have the time lapse of this piece done from beginning to end once it's finished. Um, and this is not a whole lot more to do on this one because I'm not um, not getting jiggy with it in a way I'm sort of keeping it simple I just need to do a gray across the middle line here and blend it out and then the outline and the 3d are going to be done in um, paint marker not by hand so uh, it shouldn't be too much longer now I Didn't want to have to paint the thing by hand, but after I cut the stencil out like a dummy I Threw away. I threw away the outer piece. I Still <laughs> I still have the stencil like for this here the actual letters on my wall right in front of me here um, It used to be right here until I started hanging the pictures Eventually, on the wall here, I have this piece of plexiglass that I'm going to hang there, and I'm going to start sticking all the stickers that I've been collecting over the years, and they're just piling up because I never had anything to stick them to or knew what to do with them, other than uh, I do have a canvas that I made with all my original stickers. And I'll never get rid of that damn thing. In fact, I, I might just put a seal coat over it just to lock it down. Uh, but, so as the stream goes and I get more stickers and I do sticker um, videos, I'm going to start collaging them on this. And then once they're done, I can hang it, get another piece of plexiglass, and start collaging the new stickers as well. I'm quite excited about that. Right. Let's pour this out. 
Ooh, that white. What's going on here? Might have to put some water in it. It's getting a little thick. Thick. I probably don't need much more than I already put in here. And let's try not to get white paint on anywhere else but where it's supposed to. <laughs> oh, when I saw that white spot I left, I don't even know. It looked like a, like a drip that f must have flew up and then come down or something. It was quite interesting. Um, I probably have a picture of it somewhere. All right, let's, um, oh, well, you know what? Let's, let's keep it right there. That's good. Should I zoom in more while I'm painting this? Let's see what it, um, what it looks like if I do. Mm, too, too close. It doesn't give me a gradient on this old camera. I can't sort of slowly zoom in and zoom out. It's either in or out. My face cam, I can, but I didn't feel like switching them. Uh, you know, the other way too is I can increase the um, the the view image. I don't know in OBS. Right now, you know, it's within the. Um, the screen but if you stretch it out it makes it look like it's zoomed in I could always do that we could try that let's do that there you go that's a little better oh I know why I kept myself that's why because when I um, when I make the time-lapse video I wanted it to I don't think that matters. I think I like it closer. Does it look a little blurry? Do I gotta fix the um, the focus? Is that that better? Yeah, that, that kind of looks better. I think you can't see too much of the blur in here. You you know you can kind of see a little of the graying going on from the overspray. Oh, but now I need better paintbrushes, not these. This one should do. And this one, maybe. So that Diablo, does that even have an ending or is that sort of a, um, an ongoing game? Like, how long have you been playing it? Have you been playing, like, for a long time? Or was that just a new... A new one? It does have an ending in the story mode. Oh, were you playing story mode, or is that... Uh, so look, what mode were you playing, then? like the rotation on this music streaming channel has been short I hear the same song again right now I'm playing a mode that allows for an item and damage crunching mode okay I can't say I'm a hundred percent on what that is but it's cool I mean if I if you don't play the game it's not really like a deal I want to play some co-op -y shit some story mode co-op something itchy mm -hmm. Maybe not something that's so heavy RPG. Though I do like RPG, but it's just they usually take a lot of time. And as much gaming as I want to do, I can't sink all my time into the gaming. I gotta 
I gotta stay with the artwork as well and the gaming secondary. So you know my biggest fear right now with the oculus is um, hopefully I don't get motion sickness like some people can't stay in very long. I hope that's not the case with me because then I'm sort of disappointed because I want to do the um, graffiti, the king spray um, program. Come on, black dots. See, now this apple barrel slides over everything, but it's not thick. It's, it's not heavy pigment. So even over these little black dots, you can still see through the, see through them, uh, see them through the paint. I'm gonna have to um, do a couple coats. Unfortunately, I was hoping that one coat was going to cover them well enough because they weren't heavy spots and in some areas it is but in other areas it certainly is not. Playing the seasonal adventure mode, honestly I like doing it solo mostly in Diablo just because I can control the pace. Oh uh, yeah, I mean unless you're playing with people who truly have your same style, uh, yeah you don't, you don't want to be... I'm, um, when it comes to any type of games like that, I'm a searcher, a collector, I try to find everything, and I'm usually the one that's holding up people who just want to keep moving forward to the enemy after enemy and don't care about secrets and treasures and um, stuff like that. That's the stuff I like. That's why I can't wait to, uh, can't wait to play Tomb Raider again, because... All that is is about finding stuff and puzzle solving. Like, at least Diablo is um, fantastical and it's all kind of magic and stuff. It's just, it's not another just, I got a gun, let me shoot some bullets at you. Because that's all we do in most games these days. And don't get me wrong, I don't mind a good shoot 'em up game. But, you know, I like a little variety. I don't want to have to hold a gun in my hand in every game. It's kind of what... Did you ever play For Honor when it came out a few years ago? True. Um, this is the medieval sword play one, man. I was a junkie on that, but couldn't find anybody else playing it. And eventually I sort of fell off. But uh, it was fun. It's like a fighting game, but um, like massive melee weapon, not not guns. Um, with blocking and stuff like that. You know, it's basically a, a fighting game, <laughs> essentially. But you you fight everybody. Um, another favorite game of mine. From back in the original PlayStation days was a game called Kingsfield and it was the first sort of melee based medieval game dungeon crawler uh, first person and but it was sword play and oh boy did I enjoy that I really enjoyed the strifing and moving back and forth and I mean you had magic at a point which essentially is like you know a weapon but I really did enjoy it let's see it was fun I got burnt out once people got real good at it it required so much perfection of movement and awareness I felt like it took away from the fun factor yeah some games are like that I thought I thought Fortnite was gonna be that for me when I started playing again on the laptop you know, with everybody being sweaty, um, I was surprised at how bad <laughs> the majority of the players were. And, and when I, you know, like I got my first win on the first night I was playing with keyboard and mouse, I was utterly shocked. I'm like, whoa, okay, so 
Maybe not everybody got all uh, cranked, <laughs> as they say. So yeah, that's weird. But I definitely was like that. Um, what game? Okay, I forget what game it was where. If you don't keep up on a lot of them, you know, you, you fall behind, and I'm not talking about just on lingo, I'm talking about on skills. I'm going to need your help uh, setting up my Twitch page. I'm not really sure how to do all that. So it has my information driving both ways. Because I think I am going to do the art on YouTube. But the gaming I might do over on Twitch. Try and drive traffic from my YouTube over there. And vice versa. But I have more... I have more followers here. Even though I haven't been on in a while or posted anything, so... <laughs> I wasn't surprised that not too many people were gonna... Come raid my... My chat. But I gotta get back in the swing of things, so... Here I am. And I'll tell you, I, I feel good, like, with this, the schedule. Get up early. I wanna get up at 8. Hopefully get into some type of jogging routine or exercise routine. Eat breakfast, get out to work by 10. And then make my nut by 4 or 5 o'clock. Get off the road before traffic. Come home, eat, stream for a few hours. Whether it be art or gaming, whatever I feel like. Because that's what it's all about. So when I'm depressed and I don't feel like doing art and it's all about gaming, at least I still feel like I'm progressing with what I'm trying to build. Because the gaming is... It is an addiction. It's an addictional distraction. When I'm depressed, I'll go right to it. But then I get too into it and I don't come back to progress. So... <laughs> But man, I, I, I'm glad you came by. It's, it's been a while since I streamed. Even then, like, I know it's hard for when I usually stream late after you're already kind of down and out. And I don't announce it on Twitter yet or any notifications yet. Um, which is fine for me. I just want to take it slow. Get on here, talk to myself, do a good job. Though I have great narration when I was playing um, that, uh, what was it called? I don't know, it was that horror one and man I was cracking myself up with the stuff I was saying. I'm like, this is gold. I need an audience. <laughs> I mean that might be my thing. I, I narrate a lot. Especially TV. I want to do some um, bad voiceover shit. I love that stuff. <laughs> What's funny is I haven't streamed in a while, so I haven't heard these songs in a while. It's kind of nice hearing them again. <laughs> I um I got my bike going again too. It's kind of crazy. Like, I, Harvey can frustrate me sometimes, but I get the Mortal Kombat. Oh yeah, I'll play Mortal Kombat. We got a bike the other day. We're on a bike ride. That was fun. I'm gonna do that some more. I got the bike up and running again. We got him a sweet deal on offer up. It was 45 bucks for a bike, and it has problems, but none that I can't fix. 
He wanted to go buy a brand new bike at the store for like a hundred and change. I'm like, whoa. I'm glad I got to see you, man. I do have to get bed. Early day tomorrow. Love you, brother. Love you too, man. Thanks for coming by. Even if it is brief, man, you know how it is. Stop by and say hi, man. Kind of perks you up when someone stops by and says hi. You get a little, a little charge. So, uh, yeah, man. I appreciate you chiming in, saying hi. Have a good night and um, happy new year. If I don't, for whatever reason, don't uh, speak to you prior for, you know, um, yeah. 2020, baby. It's right around. <laughs> it's crazy. It's already here. 2020, my lord. I thought 2019 was going to be a good rebuild year, but it actually turned out to be a, um, the start of a rebuild, like things falling apart and evolving into something else. And what yet is to be known, it's a mystery. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I, I over um, I purposely over sprayed on this one anyways because the paints were different I have a matte and a gloss so I did heavy gloss from the top and missed it and had it missed down so it looked like it was on purpose I wasn't paying attention when I um, when I did that but mistakes turned into blessings because now there's a texture there that I wasn't really um, thinking I was doing but I like it so it stays I probably should have updated the title Because I'm not doing the other canvas anymore, but that's all right. I don't think anybody's really going to mind. But if I stream earlier, then at least some of my family on the East Coast can chime in. I gotta get a, uh, you know, get the schedule going. Come on, I know I wanted a little curve on that. What are we doing here? That's fine. I'll take that. That's funny, like, I thought I was gonna be at this all night, but this is... Both pieces are moving faster than I thought I was going to. Stay conscious to keep looking up, just make sure I'm not missing anybody in chat. And when you don't stream often, it's sort of like something 
you kind of forget to do. You get in the zone, you forget your streaming, you're going at it. People are coming and going and you're just ignoring them. <laughs> I don't want to do that to my people. I think I need to get some water on this brush. It's getting chunky. You don't want a chunky brush. Well, my head is getting into the camera, huh? Oh, well. Good thing my hair ain't all disgusting. <laughs> oh, a little shake in the wrist. Gotta be careful. See, do you see that? It looks chunky. I think it's just because I'm getting down to the chunky part of the paint. <laughs> I said it was like that when it came out of the bottle earlier, didn't I? <sighs> Probably should have added some more water to it. Matter of fact. Oh, see, that's how I get white paint on everything, because... I'm not going to have that happen again. I'm not worried if it goes a little out of line because I got to do the outline and 3D and all that anyways. It'll clean it up. Might have to put a little more white into this bowl which is not what I want to do right here at the end. You always end up putting more than you need. I think I can finish it out. It's just enough white left. Come on. There we go. saying sweet. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. 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 I wonder if it's loud when I knock the mic with my finger like that. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. I like that little piano riff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, I'll let that dry and then I'll do another coat. Wait, what time is it? How late is it going? 10.30? What time did I start? I didn't even start until 7. 8. I haven't been streaming that long. But while that's drying, I'm gonna go catch a drag. I will be right back. Oh, sweet. And then it's time for some red vines. Give them a satisfaction they couldn't get any other I might be able to start doing the gray. We are going to do the gray inside. Do I have gray paint? I bought gray paint. What did I do with it? I bought the gray paint spits specifically for this job. That's dolphin gray, dark granite. Uh, there it is, timeless gray. I think those are the three grays I'm gonna do for the 3D. Let me put them down so you can see them. There you go. So like the dark to light, but then I also want the gray inside. I don't know if I'm gonna do I too much detailing inside to be honest. Whoa, what's that? Oh I think I I thought it was more white paint. Oh my god. Alright, I'll be right back.
back. Your boy is back. He's back again. He's back again. All right. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna do right. Um <clears throat> Oh how was I gonna do this one? Hmm. Was I gonna go up with it? Or was I gonna go in with it? I think I was gonna go in, right? So the middle would be like right here. So everything towards the spot, well. It's always good to flip the nib over. It makes them last longer. There we go. That way the other end that's drying up sits in the paint. Alright, so that's the center. this one probably did I just do that oh no no that's the way it's supposed to be all right I know this is gonna be hard to turn around on this small desk it's fairly bulky Actually getting kind of warm, which is unusual. I'm, I'm usually pretty chilly. I take my hoodie off. Oh, 
this would, wouldn't it? Yeah. These are the ones I'm not a big fan of right here, but if you want it to look right, it's going to be there. Right, that looks pretty straight. Maybe not. I could use a ruler, but I don't use rulers. I'm not a big fan. I'll do it by hand. The whip. Can you see what I'm doing in that camera there? I think that's as far away as I can get it at the moment. Let's see. I do that. I'll pull it in a little closer so it's a little more underneath the camera. Great. That one little thing right there. It's terrible. not miss the inside pieces here. Um, this right here. Without the outline, some of it's a little, a little funky. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> Not sure where I am inside the letter. <laughs> Look, like I kind of do, but kind of not. Let's 
so if that's there, that's going to be right there. This is also daylight. I know in, in here there's all kinds of nonsense. And then, but these two, what are these two little things? Where are they on my... Where are we here? Got that. Oh, yeah, that's that right there. Oh, so those two have to... Uh-oh. Oh, it's hard to see it over that color. That's like the exact same color. Either that or I just don't have enough paint on there. Wow, it's super close in color. Where are we here? Look at that. I got paint coming out? Yeah, I guess so. And here. Probably could be, but I don't want to because it's. A, uh, maybe I'll just do that. Do 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 do. to see it right there it's just the same color nope 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 um, nope all right this piece here yep far in the line there. There we go. Yeah. I got this. And then this. And here. Those are a little bit off, huh? 
Save to be over. Mm, I'll fix it later. See, like, and this is the third time I heard this one. I feel like they keep playing this one. I hate that I can't play good music on YouTube. It's terrible. Like, seriously. So serial. I know I missed some somewhere, but we'll find them as we're painting along. Other than that, I think I got them all. Oh, well. There's that. I think I can start painting it in. Oh. gloves when I do that because I kind of rubbed it off up here I can tell just another coat mm -hmm. well, painting over spray paint sometimes is such a pain in the butt and my white at the bottom is getting jacked up on acrylic you're water based you're not gonna dry into my pants damn it I guess I should have put some painting pants on all right till 11 there and then call the stream <clears throat> pick it up tomorrow it's a pseudo size pseudo size it's a pseudo size pseudo size so and then you got the grays Got the dark for inside. 
I might do it all dark and then the light, I mean the medium, and then the light on the edges, on the tips. Because I know that's like that color there. And then that will be the outline on it. Yeah. It's a pseudo side, pseudo side. I'll find it. I know it's in there. I know I miss it somewhere. I always miss it somewhere. Oh, I really do put my head down that far, huh? I might have to do something about that. But not for tonight. All right, I might as well just call it there because I'm not gonna get into painting anymore. Because um, I'll be here all night. And uh, I wanna chill before I go to bed and get up, do it all over again, but I am going to try and stream again tomorrow night and uh, keep moving on this piece here or something, I don't know, might draw something, might continue painting this, we'll see, it's sort of up in the air, but until then, if I don't see you before the new year, happy new year and have a good night.